All right, hi everybody. Boy, that took forever for me to be able to start the second video. For some reason, the internet wasn't connecting or something was going crazy, so I had to back out of everything and try again. Okay, we're going to start with our second card here. Oh, I should go back and say I forgot to mention that you can um, put one of those little gems I gave you on the snowflake for the fun fold. So you go ahead and add, I think I gave everybody at least four, so you can put two on this card and then two on the card we're going to do next. These are the blue adhesive back gems, and, and there's some real light blue ones, and then there's some that are more of a... Uh, sparkly kind of iridescent pattern and they come in a couple different sizes so um, all right so this one's really fun this is called I call it the split circle technique I've heard other people call it retro um, retro circles or whatever so um, we're going to take three different sized circles and these were all with our done with our circle punches let me grab my paper snips and we're just going to cut these in half so Cut all three, all three of your circles in half, and then we'll get them lined up here just right. And I didn't fuss over it, I just kind of just snipped away at them, so they might not be exact, but they're going to work. All right, and there's the littlest one here. And then I have to decide which pattern I want to show on them. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just do it like this. All right, and then we're going to kind of build a little circle sandwich here. And we're going to line it up so that the um, this top corner is going to be lined up on both of them. So they're both going to look the same. And then when you put one on top, they're, they're going to be opposite. So let me grab my liquid glue here. And I think I gave you a little diagram to show show how it works. So the flat part is going to be together and then the corner is going to be together. And that makes the rest of it just kind of um, have this kind of like waterfall effect. So that one's done. Let that dry a little bit. Put some glue on the other pieces. And I should mention that this um, balmy blue glimmer paper has sold out, so I hope you got a chance to get some of it before it sold out because it's really pretty. We do have some other colors of glimmer paper in the big ca annual catalog. I think, I think just the rainbow, the rainbow glimmer paper is there, although this technique would look also uh, nice with um, having the center be a metallic, uh, metallic fo foil would look pretty too. Okay, you, I gave everybody a sheet of um, Whisper White that's been embossed with the uh, Snowflake folder. I'm trying to see if I have my folder handy. Yep, there it is. Winter Snow Folder. And the Winter Snow Folder happens to be um, on sale at the year-end clearance. They're clearing this one out. I don't know why, because it's so pretty. But anyhow, it's going to leave um, after this month. So such a pretty folder and of course I used my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine to run that through and emboss that page. But you should have that ready to go. And then um, this is a pool party card base so I'm going to put just it here. And I used the liquid glue quite a bit especially if um, I'm gluing something bumpy like the embossed piece on there just because it'll hold it better. Okay, that's ready to go. And then let me stamp my little banner here. Um, I'm going to use my, my old standby for um, holiday cards, and that is Itty Bitty Christmas. And I really love this one here, Blessed Christmas Wishes. So I think, yeah, I put that on a block. And again, I'm going to use my misty moonlight ink pad or if you have night of navy or something like that it would be good as well i'm just going to stamp that right in the center and that worked out really well if it was crooked i would just flip it over and try again and then choose the best of the two all right so 
put my ink pad away here before I get blue fingers. Okay, I've got my two half circles in my banner. So let's get this put together. Okay, now we're um, going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. And we kind of want to line them up in the center so that it looks like a swirl like that. So my center piece, my sparkly piece is going to be lined up like that. And I've seen people try this with other shapes too. So um, people have tried it with um, ovals or squares. I think the circle really is the best. Okay, so I've got my two pieces about where I want them. I'm going to just stick this right here because I, I kind of want it to be just a little smaller gap than um, my banner so that I, I'm not, if I put it too close together, then I'm hiding the circles. And so I just wanted a little bit apart so I can see all those beautiful swirly circles. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to glue one on and then the other, leaving that little gap there. There we go. Let me sit, let that sit there a minute while I grab my dimensionals. Okay, I used the, the little tiny mini dimensionals that we have um, for the banner, but I, I think it would still work with the larger ones as well. Um, and I want to, let's see how I'm going to put this. I want to put this one kind of towards the top so that it goes in the gap and not on top of my circles. But I think these are small enough that I'll, they'll fit in my gap. So we'll stick one in the center as well. I think I left enough space there. Get the little backings off. Do you find those little backings everywhere? They're everywhere in my house. They go upstairs, they go everywhere. All right, oh, that worked out good. It just fit perfectly. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab a couple of the gems here and stick them on the ends just to add a little sparkle. You can never have too much sparkle. Okay, I'm going to use my take your pick tool here and grab off a gem with my kind of go underneath of it and grab one off if I can do that. I have such a small sheet here. Okay, got one. And stick that in the middle of the white space. Grab another one. These are sticking hard. Maybe I can uh, kind of bend the plastic a little bit. Oh yeah, that works better. Bend the plastic a little bit to get that off. And stick the other one there. And then we're done. Yay, I didn't even put anything in the center, I think. But you can find a nice um, Christmas greeting or write a, a little message in there. And I like to have a few Christmas cards um, left over for um, thank you notes after Christmas, too. And so the snowflake ones are really good for that. So this would even make a great thank you card. So if you have a, th a little thank you greeting you can put there, that would be a beautiful thank you card. Or even if you have somebody that has a January birthday, you could put a little birthday greeting there. It would be a really pretty, pretty um birthday card as well. So there is the split circle technique. You can try that with any of your papers. Um, mix and match your papers and mix and match colors. You can even use you know, different colors of cardstock or um, the metallics, as I said before, would be pretty. So try that technique. And hey, post some cards on our Facebook group if you try it with, uh, try some, any of these techniques. If you try the um, the double pocket card or if you try the split circle let's uh, show off your cards and so we can all see them because I'd love to to see what you do with these techniques all right so this one's done and I'm gonna sign off and hopefully I can get um, the video to work a little more quickly this time and we'll do the last card so see you in a minute hopefully